What's up, YouTube? It's Dean Azor here, and today I have a video for you talking about the program that I used to record my previous videos about this game, Contract Killer Zombies. This game right here. A lot of you asked me what I used to record that straight from my iPod Touch screen. So uh, I'm just going to do the video right now, and right off the bat, I'm going to say that you need to be jailbroken. Right there, you see I have Cydia, so that's just another sign you need to be jailbroken. So let me just open up the app that I use. The app was called Display Recorder right there, and it has pretty basic functions. Uh, it has a web server, which allows you to connect it to your computer. Uh, you can directly record your display. All you need to do is just click that plus button, and you start recording, and it will tell you you're recording. Scroll around, and right here you'll see that it says it's recording. So very, very basic functions, extremely easy to use, and uh, it definitely works very easily, and it's definitely very helpful to all kinds of people, uh, no matter what they want to do, instructional videos, showing their friends, um, anything really. So um, you just go back to it when you're done, and just click stop recording, and it will tell you recording completed. One thing about this that I'm a little unhappy about is that you cannot... Uh, cut out the parts of the video where you start the recording and end the recording so basically you have to edit this on a computer if you don't want people to see that I personally don't want people to see that so what I do is I put it on my computer and then after that I edit it uh, in YouTube or I edit it before I upload it to YouTube and then um, it looks all nice when it's on YouTube when it's uploaded to the internet so um, I'm just going to show you how to do this how to get the application first and then we'll get into its features and how to use it so first you want to load up Cydia and hopefully yours will be faster than mine what you want to do is uh, you want to go into your sources and add a source called Cydia.xlize.com and once this loads I'll show you exactly what you have to do alright so type in Cydia.xlize dot com so that is it there is no e before the x and i'm sure about that so you're going to click add source and uh... it's going to verify the url i'm going to click cancel but you're going to click add anyway so it's going to reload the data you're going to your iTouch iphone or ipad is going to go through the whole process and then yeah that will happen so um... now you have to go inside of the source this is the source excelize click inside of the source and go all the way in, into the D section uh, go into the source, sorry about that and go all the way into the D section and go down to display recorder uh, so let me find it for you display, display, display recorder sorry it's taking so long uh, right here Display recorder. Record the display in real time. Usually this would cost five dollars. I'm showing you how to get this absolutely free. So um definitely want to go ahead and check out XLIs. And by the way, thank you XLIs for uh, doing this for free. So um yeah, you're getting a five dollar app completely for free. Um you do want to be jailbroken for this, so make sure you go check out a video on how to do that. And so you see XLIs right there. Display recorder. This is not the newest one. It is 1.2.3. It's the next newest one. The newest one is 1.2.4, but you're getting it for free, so why not get 1.2.3? You're still getting all the functionality. It's still going to work really well. Um, so, I mine says modify. Yours will say install. So go ahead and install it. And uh, when it's done, go check back to the video, and I'll explain exactly what to do with it. So uh, hopefully you've paused the video, and now you're back with the uh, application installed on your phone, iPad, or iTouch. So now we're going to go into settings and you're going to see display recorder in your settings. Click on that and you definitely want to change some stuff here. You want to make the frame rate all the way up and I don't, I don't keep mine locked. I keep mine in portrait mode, that's how I prefer to keep it. The video format, you should keep it that. Um, video quality, I prefer high. That's better for uploading it to uh, YouTube so that people can uh, clearly see what you're um, displaying. Uh, grayscale is off. Uh, scale is full. Show taps is, uh, let me explain what show taps is. 
Show taps is if you start recording like this, you can see where I'm tapping. So that was very helpful for my contract killers video because you could see where I was tapping so that it was meant as a tutorial so people could see where I was tapping to know how to play the game. So that's very helpful uh, for gaming videos or when you just want to show people where to click for stuff like that. So back to um, the settings of it. You have um, tap size, which I keep on medium. Web server, which uh, don't do anything right now yet. Um, so just keep it uh, off for now. Activation methods, you can select any way you want to turn on the display recorder. Uh, uh, and your YouTube account is last. By the way, any questions or comments, email me at this email right here. And uh, so your YouTube account, you enter your YouTube account, and that will take you to your YouTube account. Uh, you will be able to upload videos straight from uh, display recorder straight to YouTube from your iPod Touch, iPad, or iPhone. So, that's basically it for the app. Uh, also, you have show alert shadows. Alert shadows interfere with remote touches from display recorders, web interface, and other uh, packages like V and C. So, um, go ahead and customize this any way you want. This is really your own, so do whatever you want to it. I recommend the frame rate is definitely should kept on high and video quality should be high and video format should be MJPEG in my opinion um, keep everything the same otherwise so let's go back into the app uh, now I want to show you how to get this onto your um, get this onto your computer you won't be able to get this through using iTunes you need to either SSH which means you're gonna have to be able it's basically you're gonna have to be able to see every category inside of your uh, phone or iPad or iTouch, you need a SSH in order to do that, but an easier way to do that is to use the web server. So what I do is I click enable. Make sure you're on Wi-Fi by the way, and make sure your computer is on the same Wi-Fi network as your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. So I'm going to click enable, I'm going to hide this because this is going to give you my IP address. So uh, this will give you the IP address and the last four digits after the colon is what exactly you need to type into your browser. You need to type in every single thing that appears right next to the display button, right? Every single thing into your browser. So next I'm going to uh, switch tabs and I'm going to go into uh, the display recorder uh, website. This was exactly my IP address. This was exactly what was listed on my iPod Touch and this is the display recorder one so you see I have an exact replica of my screen right here it is um, on my computer so for example uh, let me just reload this page for a second for example if I wanted to uh, download this latest video I would click on it just click on it like that and down here you see that I'm starting to download. Very quick video. It's only it was only like uh, 20 seconds, but it's very very fast download. My longest video was eight minutes, and that only took five minutes to download. So this is pretty fast, and it took five minutes to upload. So uh, this is going to work pretty fast for for most people, uh, considering you have a decent Wi-Fi connection. So basically, that's what you do with this. Um, there is a live view, but. Um, I don't want to do that because Live View will show you my IP address, so I don't want to do that. Uh, I can show you a screenshot, so I'll do a screenshot right now. And you can see that is exactly what appears right here. That's exactly what you see right here. That says 1028. That says 1028. So basically, that's it for this. Um, yeah, so definitely go ahead and get this app. Um, it is free. It used to be five dollars. I got a way to get it for free, so definitely go ahead and check that out. Next thing I would just wanted to show you was uh, my channel. Uh, as you can see, my channel got a whole new look. Uh, on the left side of it, it says Dinosaur. On the right side of it, it says All the Tech, All the Time. And in the middle, it says Tutorials, Reviews, How Tos, and Giveaways. And basically, this is my whole new new look of my channel. Um, tell me what you think about it. It was designed by The Error, uh, which both of these people that created my intro and my background are listed. UC Puppet and uh, HUD Tutorials. Um, that is the TX Jackal 
um, L um, XT, I believe that's how you pronounce the name, sorry if I get it wrong. Um, so they have 678 subscribers, so definitely go check them out. Go check out The Air, uh, they're pretty new on YouTube, so you should go check them out. They have 17 videos, they're really good with graphics. Both these guys right here are good with graphics. And the person that did my uh, audio for my video, my Contract Killer video, was I Pwned You 100. Uh, go ahead, uh, uh, check it out, subscribe to him. Every single person on here is boxed on my channel. So, uh, yeah, definitely go check these guys out. Um, so, really nice look to my channel. It got all revamped. It looks a lot better now, in my opinion. Tell me what you guys think. Uh, so, anyway, that's just uh, what I have for this video. Um, not the shortest video I've had. It's like 10 minutes long, but uh, I'll wrap it up right here. So, uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll have more videos soon. Uh, go ahead and check out my Steve Jobs video, the book that I got from Amazon. Go ahead and check out that new Legos uh, set, the huge Lego set that I posted. Uh, go check all that stuff out. So, uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.